hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new series of this channel so if you guys saw my last video there i talk about how a lot of things have been happening in my life so this video is just going to be a little life update but also with that i'm going to start like um a series on my channel named 20 something uh, inspired by Caesar's song 20 something if you haven't heard that song just go listen to it that song just does something to me this past few months um, I've been reflecting a lot on myself and on my surroundings I've just been overthinking I've been anxious I've been just a mess I've been a mess and while I was reflecting I noticed that I was not really satisfied with my vlogs that I was putting out actually before um, I cut my hair I had filmed like two or three weeks worth of um, vlogs or like footages um, but I was just not satisfied with it guys I was just not satisfied with the vlogs that I was putting out or like uh, my editing style and that also triggered me to cut my hair I guess in some kind of way I think I was also just comparing myself too much to other creators who have been doing this for years and like I've only been doing this for like three months <laughs> So of course, uh, it's not going to be perfect. Um, but yeah, I was just comparing myself to them a lot and was just not satisfied with the work I was putting out or like the footage that I had. Um, so I deleted them all. I literally deleted like three or four weeks worth of footages because I was just not satisfied with it. I was not. I want my channel to reflect who I am and I am going through a big change in my life um, and that's why I wanted to make this change because I am going through my 20s I'm navigating myself through my 20s so I just want you guys to follow me along <laughs> so yeah this video is just going to be a little life update and I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've been up to the past few weeks guys uh, my exams are almost coming up it's like next month but a month will go by sooner than you think and i literally have four exams in like a week time week and a half time so i really have to like prepare myself properly and make a good planning so i study each subject and i give like my attention to every subject because it's really easy to like um, give attention to one subject and not to the other one. Little <laughs> Bogonatok. Okay guys, it's a few days after and I'm actually going to work. Yes, work. I've been employed somewhere that I'm not going to tell you guys now about but I'm employed at the moment. Guys, I'm back from work. I put my hair up and I feel like this looks so cute. And look at my bun. Look how cute this is. It's so small. 
But like at least I can't put my hair up in a bun, you know. Actually went in in Easy Party to get a Mother's Day gift from my mom. I just got like a um skincare set from Lancome. She gets the bougie skincare. But yeah, tomorrow's Mother's Day, guys. I do want to do something cute for her. I mean, I bought her presents and my siblings also make like little cute presents uh, at school and they bring it for Mother's Day. Hi guys, um, today I'm getting my first ever car and just a disclaimer, it's not going to be anything fancy or it's not going to be brand new but it is going to be my first ever car. Uh, my dad actually decided to get me a car of my own because till now I was just learning how to drive on his car but his car is like literal family car with seven seats it's literally like a minivan and he thought that it was not really smart to learn how to drive in a car like that so he wanted to get me a car of my own and he did thank you dad if you're watching this i really appreciate it being a car owner or like um owning a car or like having a car of your own screams out of life to me i don't know guys maybe i'm just exaggerating but this time last year i thought that i was never gonna get my license because i was so scared and i think by now you guys also know how clumsy i am i'm a really clumsy person so that's why i thought that having a car was too much of a responsibility and that i would like make a lot of mistakes so that's why i never wanted to get a car but by the end of last year i just realized no you have to face your you have to face your fear i don't know guys like uh in, by at the end of last year i just realized that i really have to get out of my comfort zone and not let my fears eat me up because that's what i was doing this past few years my past adult life i guess i was like still in my bubble you know i was still in my bubble i was still in my comfort zone but by the end of last year i just realized like no it's time to get out of your comfort zone and get out of your bubble and that's what i did i just went in for my driver's license and i've been practicing for a few months now by the end of this year hopefully i will get my actual license like right now i just have my learning license i obviously also left my job uh, at the restaurant as a waitress because i feel like that was also just my comfort zone i really didn't enjoy working at like a restaurant anymore as a waitress but because that's all i knew i just felt like i couldn't get out of it and during the month uh, that I was unemployed, I was looking for jobs, obviously. And I don't know what I expected. I think I just expected to have another job right away after leaving my job as a waitress. But I was kind of starting to panic, guys. I was literally starting to panic. Um, I literally couldn't sleep at night. I literally couldn't. And at some point, I even thought of like going back. I even thought of like going back to my job as a waitress. But then uh, my mother calmed me down uh, and she also said that this was like part of adulting. 
like as an adult you'll have to look for ways you'll have to search you'll have to like be patient uh, you're not gonna get your way uh like you've always had you know and then i kind of like started calming myself down and now that i've got the job that i interviewed for i mean one of the one of the places i interviewed for i mean i do feel less anxious but i'm not like fully fully like sure about that job yet that's why i'm still feeling anxious and i'm still going to other uh, job interviews but again i guess it's just part of the process um, to be honest guys at this point i'm just happy that i got out of my waitress job um because i i just don't want to be a waitress anymore i just don't want to do that job anymore and obviously this is not the place where i want to be in life you know but i feel like it's the next stepping stone of my life um and i will definitely grow even more from that and this is just like learning experience so i will take it as that and try my best and try to be content with where i am at the moment but yeah i'm getting my car oh my god okay guys now i'm on my way to the job interview this is how i'm looking this is the fit <laughs> in my jeans and i'm wearing my prada glasses and look at this bag it's the first bag that my boyfriend ever got for me i mean it's his first gift i believe for my 18th birthday he gave this to me for my 18th birthday almost six years ago guys i'm in my car it's my little cutie you guys are gonna see more car vlogs from now on <laughs> i'm so gassed right now i'm so gassed guys sorry feeling what Filling up my tank for the first time. Guys, I'm going for my first drive in this car. Bistar, 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 bistar. Let's go. 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 Let's By the way guys, I also came back from my job interview and I think it went well. And guys, while I was in Lviv, I actually picked up something for Helen because she's leaving for New York like Thursday, so day after tomorrow. So I wanted to buy something for her as like a goodbye gift. Oh my god, I feel so emotional already. I'm not gonna think about it. No, I'm not gonna think about it. So I just got something for her, something little. Uh, it's the Dior highlighter. I mean, I'll just insert a picture here or something like that. So I just got that for her because I thought that would be like a nice gift, and she can also use it for her engagement. I also got like <laughs> this. Is so cringe, but yeah. Oh my god, look how cute this looks. Oh, but you can. I can't really see the writing in it. It says two cover girls, but okay, you get the vibe. You get it. Now I'm going to write something in this card. Yeah. <laughs> I even wrote her name, Sumi and Helen. And I wrote like a whole letter, but that's for her. That's for her. My skin is skinning, guys. Guys, I think this is going to be it for the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of my new vlogging style or my new editing style. I really tried my best, y'all. I really tried my best. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, guys. And comment down below. I love y'all. And see you guys next week. Mwah.